Hello, Lower Elementary. Today, we are going to start talking about the tectonic plates. And you'll remember when we studied the layers of the earth and the outermost layers are the crust and the mantle. The crust and the mantle make up the tectonic plates that shape our earth. The tectonic plates are like the skin of the earth. There are eight major plates and many smaller ones. They are consistently moving. The tectonic plates rest on top of molten rock. If we pretended like these were plates on our earth, then the way that the plates come together is called a plate boundary. In the video lesson that you're about to watch, she suggests doing an experiment with Play-Doh and plates. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. The first plate boundary that we're going to look at is a convergent boundary. Now, the first step is I'm going to get some Play-Doh. You could use slime, you could use clay, you could use mud. There's probably other things you could use too, silly putty. And you're going to smash this down. And this is gonna represent that molten rock underneath our Earth's crust. Then we're going to find something um, hard that you can use as plates. I just took two pieces of a cardboard box and cut those to represent the Earth's tectonic plates. A convergent boundary is the first one we're going to discuss, and that is a boundary where the plates come together. They crush into each other. And this is often where earthquakes or volcanoes can be found is on a convergent boundary. So if you just take your plates and you push down and together, you can see how a convergent boundary could form a mountain, a volcano, Okay, the next plate boundary that we're going to look at is a divergent boundary, and you can see the arrows pushing away from each other. So let me flatten out my molten rock, my magma, and then let me use my plates. And in this instance, the plates are going to move away from each other. They diverge, and as they move away, they could form a valley or a rift where the magma rises to fill the gap. These plates move very slowly. The last plate boundary that we're going to look at is a transforming or transformative plate boundary. And this type of boundary isn't, doesn't cause as many interesting landforms like volcanoes, but it does often cause earthquakes. So an example of a transforming boundary, let me just press down our magma, okay? Um, a transforming boundary is going to slide past each other. So that sliding past each other can sometimes cause a valley, but often can cause an earthquake, including the famous San Andreas Fault in America. So I hope you have fun exploring divergent, convergent, and transforming boundaries.